And hello, welcome back to another Real Deal episode. I'm your host, Zach McGillan. And today, we're here at the Miles Center for the Miles Center dedication. So today, it's going to be a different vibe, but we, we still want you guys to come vibe with us. So let's go take a look what's going on. And I'm here with... Dr. Rosemary Thomas. And Dr. Rosemary, we have a question for you today. It's how many times did COVID delay the process of getting this building completed? 627. Actually, we had three scheduled events and this is it. The third time is the charm and it's going to be magnificent. That's great to hear. We can't wait for the show to be put on. So thank you very much. And I'm here with... Jimmy Grashow. And Jimmy, today we have a question. What was your vision when creating this piece for such an amazing space? First of all, the space is amazing. You know, it's uh, it's unbelievable. I wanted to do something light, lyrical, unique, and uh, and something uh, that everybody could be proud of that would last forever. Yeah. So. Yeah, for sure. And if you had to guess, how much do you think that sculpture weighs? I know exactly how much it weighs. When it went into the foundry, it was made from cardboard, and it weighed maybe a total, two figures, maybe a total of 20 pounds. When it came out of the foundry, made in bronze, transformed, it weighed 1,800 pounds. Oh, that's my max deadlift, so I'll be getting a couple reps out there when we go out there. <laughs> I'm here with Chris Wood, President of Davidson Oakens College. And President Wood is a famous figure here on Davis and Elkins College. And we have a question. How has this new space expanded our relationship with the arts and the surrounding community? Well, you know, this space, unfortunately, was opened right as COVID came along. So uh, this is really our first opportunity to open up to the community as a whole. I think, though, what's going to happen as we continue to move forward, this is going to become the arts center, not only for Davis and Elkins College, but also for Elkins and for Randolph County. With Harper McNeely Auditorium, Senate Commons here, we have the ability to open our doors and make a real difference within the community where we live. Yeah, no, that's great. And we have a little rumor going around campuses. Is it true that you're making a cameo appearance on Mamma Mia with your wife, Lisa? Uh, I can officially deny that rumor, uh, but everybody needs to come out and see it. Uh, Lisa's gonna do a great job along with the rest of the cast. All right, for sure. Thank you. I'm here with Scott Goddard. And Scott, today, on a scale of one to 4,482 hours, how many hours did you spend and your group putting all the moving pieces together for today? Well, it's definitely been a team effort, everyone pulling together at Davis and Elkins College. So when you add it all up across the campus, we're definitely north of 4,000. There's no question, especially when this event was planned and then canceled due to COVID on multiple occurrences. So happy to be here today, and I say we are definitely north of 4,000. Yeah, thank you, for sure. I'm here with Gracie Matheny. And Gracie, today, if you had to write a song about today, what would you title it? Mountain festivities is the first thing that came to my mind. And why is that? <laughs> uh, because look at us. We're in the mountains today, and there's tons of festivities. I don't know. Seems fitting. Mm, makes sense. Makes sense. And do you go here? Um, I will be in the fall. So you don't even go here? Well, I'm taking two classes right now, but, you know, I'm not. Mm, okay. okay. We'll, we'll count it. We'll count it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm here with Missy McCollum and Missy today we want to know where you see the arts program heading in the future with such a beautiful space well this space can actually be a community center for the arts so we can have lots of community uh, groups participate in activities up here as well as hosting out of town um, arts groups and also showcasing our very vibrant arts community at Dini. Yeah, no, for sure. Thank you. Yeah. And I'm here with June Miles. And June Miles is the star of the show today. So thank you for creating such a nice space for us students to use and the community. And we have a couple questions. What's it like to finally see the Miles Center come together? It is absolutely amazing. And it's, I, it's probably particularly amazing since I wasn't here for most of it. Um, you know, I saw it a, a year ago in May when the uh, sculptures came, but it wasn't totally finished then, but mostly finished, and it's, it's beautiful. I saw it yesterday again, sort of with new eyes, and it's, it's, it's just glorious. It is. It is absolutely stunning. 
And other than laser tag and mini golf, what kind of activities do you see this space holding for d and &E students and the community? Um, I have said that I really would like to see it become a magnet for creativity, uh, bringing together the communities, uh, the campus community, the town community, uh, and a commingling and a, a cross fertilization of the arts. So almost anything, I think I might veto uh, axe throwing and maybe log chopping. Mm, that was going to be a good one here. I don't know if the people will <laughs> like that one, but I think I might not like that so much. But. Uh, so far, there, there's been such a diversity, it, it's really pleasing to see that so much has happened in this space in such a short period of time. And I'm sure it will get even more uh, use now that you know we don't have COVID to worry about so much. So, yeah, No, thank you again. And from all the d &E students, we thank you for this beautiful space. Well, thank you and, and take good care of it. It's yours. We will. Thank you. And our time has come to an end here. They're about to start the program. So we look off to the distance. Looks like they're going to be cutting the ribbon. Should be cutting the ribbon for me, but it's for the Miles Center, so I'll get another ribbon sometime. But we want to thank June Miles again for such a beautiful space. And next time might be our last real deal of the semester. I know it's sad, but you know, we'll be back next year, you know, re sign my contract. So we'll see you next time on the real deal. Until then, be safe. Hopefully it rains up a little. No more rain here in Elk Vegas. Some people trying to replicate what it's supposed to look like. Oh no, Matt, and you just broke it. We're done. We gotta go. We're out.